five minutes. Don't start your dreams now. So, hello everybody. My name is Jonathan Lazowski from StructurePel. And I'll start by stating a fact. Construction industry is using too much material, or to be more precise, more than it should. And that's due to over-design by our engineers and architects. StructurePel is here to eliminate that over-design, starting with concrete. Now, why concrete, you might ask? Our industry, the construction industry, is responsible for almost 40% of global CO2 emissions. A quarter of that is concrete and cement industry. So this is a big issue to go to. More precise, 80% of the building weight is concrete, is structured. 50% of the carbon is, is, is embodied there. And if that's not enough, a third of the cost of the project goes to that concrete structure. And the worst thing about it is that when we're talking about over-design and over uses material, we are talking about roughly 30% and even more. So the situation is very grim. Well, why is it grim? Our engineers, the ones who are responsible for designing those structures are in a problem. First of all, not enough engineers as it is. More buildings to build and at the same time, very limited design time. In other words, they will have to be design something that will meet the codes and regulations, but there will be really unoptimized structures coming out of their end because they will have to use all kinds of thumb rules and copy paste tactics just to deliver on time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will create a surplus in terms of how much concrete we use and an incredible loss of funds for the developer and for our environment. What, we, what can we do? Well, very simple, a simple software solution that will integrate into the, into the design flow used by structural engineers, project managers, and design managers worldwide. First of all, reducing 50% and even more of the design time just by simple automations and without any learning curve. At the end of the process, we're talking about a reduction of roughly 15% of concrete volume and execution costs for the client. And that in a non-linear way can reach all the way up to 30% of CO2 reduction for that project, which is immense. What's the deal we're offering in here? Very simple. The client pays $2 per square meter of the floor plan. So he knows how much he's gonna pay upfront he knows how much it's going to save up front, and therefore the ROI is a no-brainer for all of our clients. How, we, how it works? Well, very simple. We tell our clients, don't draft. Instead, specify to our artificial engineer that we've developed as part of the software what it has to do, what's the limitations, code regulations, design limitations, and pricing, and so on. And then our engineer, artificial engineer, will run it in the background in an iterative way and eventually reach that zero over design structure that will meet all codes and regulations and will output a fully drafted 3D model, an analytical model, quantity reports, calculation reports, and basically everything you can dream of at that stage just for the engineer to keep it uh, uh, direct and clear. When we're talking about the, the, the opportunity here, we're talking about a $9 billion income opportunity for this technology, just because we have 4.5 million square meters, sorry, 4.5 billion square meters built a year. And that, if we make the breakdown from our side, if we reduce even not 15, 10% of the, of the emissions, we can reach all the way to 144 billion kilos of emissions that we can save a year. And just to keep it clear, if we would like to know how good it is, well, just the sum, it's very simple to get our, to our sum because you can see here not too many clients to get there. So that's a simple mechanism. We, we approach top tier clients as the first clients. That's the obvious way to go. We are spread all around from North America, Europe, Israel, and now Hong Kong with a lot, one of the biggest developers in Hong Kong with a successful proof of concept there. And we and through that proof of concept, we will reach into the region and we won prizes even one of your neighbors in the Hong Kong Science Park. The best thing about it is our team. We are structural engineers who design buildings who did that in the past and make that shift into tech. So we are the best team possible to make this happen. We have great advisory team and most important, we have investors from the industry and from outside reaching to $3.3 million of investment so far. 
Thank you very much. I would love to have your questions. Thank you. May we now open the floor to the judges for questions? Hi, uh, this is Daisy from Sino. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, how can you um, ensure that uh, the calculation meets the local uh, building regulations and building code? So what we do, our AI actually uses the FinTelement software used by the engineer. That means we don't provide our own, we provide that software that is used and, and credited by the structure engineer. So we're using the same systems he is using. And then uh, you just mentioned that uh, we can easily uh, integrate our BIM into your system. So the calculations is doing uh, in an automatic uh, basis, right? Exactly. Okay, exactly. Thank you. That means our, our AI will use your BIM software to make those to make that work. In other words, that's the idea behind us: the artificial engineer replacing the human in the taunting work and making it a more precise one. And it's actually a expert system, you may say, in that manner. So. Uh, you uh, this is Paul from uh, the University of Hong Kong. Um, you have been already in the market for some time, right? You already launched yes. your product yet. So can you elaborate a little bit about the traction, how many uh, projects are already using your, your, your software and um, what, what's the outcome? Yeah. So, so far we have two clients in Israel six clients in Toronto and one successful proof of concept in Hong Kong, which will lead to project uh, better about that. Most of the numbers that we can talk about it today is roughly between five and 20% reduction per project. Those are the numbers where the average is what you can see here, 15% roughly from what a human could have actually done. We can provide 15. Although you saw the number 13%, right? That it's the overall design. But why 15 and not 30? Because even if we provide a zero over design structure, the, the structure engineer and the team will add safety measures on top of that. And that's a beautifully and that's OK, as long as they know what is zero over design and they know how much they are over designing it and calibrating the design accordingly. Hi, uh, this is Wilson from Cyberport. I'm wondering, uh, is there any uh, uh, safety margin? that your AI engine would uh, reserve for each recommendations? You can do it or by in, in the first stage, you can actually ask us to provide that or the engineer in most cases will add its own after he gets the design from us. I mean, it's easier after, not before. So yes. Time is up, thank you.